I would like to introduce my two friends, Little Blue and Little Green. They have been part of our family for almost two years. Have you noticed their different colors? Little Blue is blue and white, and Little Green is green and yellow. Today, let me explain how their colors are generated and why they are different. First of all, what is color? The sunlight we see every day is a mixture of light of different colors. Light travels in the form of waves, and the wavelength determines the color of the light. The visible spectrum goes from violet to red, corresponding to wavelengths in the air about 400 nanometers to 750 nanometers. There are two different types of colors for our birds. The first is structural color, and the second is pigmentary color. Structural color is caused by selective light reflection. The blue color of a feather comes from its architecture of its keratins, its major protein component. The outer layer of the keratin matrices contains a lattice of parallel air channels. When the light waves flood in, they bounce off of boundaries between air and matrices. The distance between two neighboring air channels is about 230 nanometers. When a red light wave bounces off from the bottom of an air channel, it overlaps with another red wave off from the bottom of the next air channel. The second wave has traveled an extra distance about half a wavelength. When the two reflected red waves combine, they are out of phase. That is, one's peak overlaps with the other's trough. The two red waves cancel each other out. This is called destructive interference. The same happens for yellows and greens. When two blue waves combine after bouncing off from two neighboring air channels, they are in phase because of their shorter wavelengths. They reinforce each other. This is called constructive interference. We only see the bright blue color from the feather because only the blue waves do not destroy each other. The yellow color on little green comes from a pigment. It originates from selective light absorption by the electrons on the pigment. The only light not absorbed by the pigment molecules are the yellow ones. How do we tell whether a color is a structural color or a pigmentary color? A pigmentary color does not change when you change the background or intensity of the external light. A structural color However, due to its reflective nature, it looks different when background or illumination changes. Have you noticed the blue part of the same feather gives a different hue when placed on a white paper than on a black leather? The hue of the green and yellow feather barely changes. The green color on little green is caused by the combination of the pigment color yellow and the structural color blue. The difference between little green and little blue is a yellow pigment. Little green has it, while little blue does not. Little Blue does not produce the yellow pigment because she has a mutation in the enzyme that is responsible for making the pigment. The enzyme is called MUPKS. Just one amino acid change inactivates MUPKS, making the bird incapable of producing the yellow color. So, Little Green is the wild type and Little Blue is a mutant, but I love them both.